The streets of Dubai do not only offer a spectacular view of the fine infrastructure, but also a diverse multitude of people. In the Dera locality is the Bania Square, where several people from all walks of life gather. Here, a number of Ugandans come to trade, but it is not only trade, some others just come to hang out. Here, I met some Ugandans in their quest for greener pastures. At the time, I talked to Abdul Kato, a 28-year-old who had been job hunting in Dubai for close to three weeks but had not yet found a placement. I was expecting myself that when I reach in Dubai, I will get a good job. But unfortunately, I found the, the life it was not good, it's unbearable, it's like a lack to someone to get a job. Kato says he traveled here on a one-month-long tourist visa with no assurance of a job but determined to find one. The visa would expire soon, but he was still unemployed. It's like a luck. I just appreciate it, whether I get a job or not. This young man who worked as a blacksmith in Uganda has the same story as many of his colleagues here. They felt freer to talk to NTV at their best. 25-year-old Cliff Chibidango is an information technology graduate who had a job in Uganda but decided he could try his luck in Dubai. I came to seek employment. I was earning but the salary was too low. It was too low to, to survive as a, as a, a youth mm -hmm. because I had other plans to do, I had to build, I have to do other stuff. Edge, I was growing. Kato, Chibidango and eight other Ugandans live in this one-room department. Before one travels to Dubai, they book accommodation through an agent and pay up to 700 dirhams, the equivalent of nearly 600,000 shillings per month for a bed and a mattress and other utilities excluding food and general upkeep. You need to have extra money because you need to load on your travel card and you need to buy a SIM card, so you need to buy a time, you need to print CVs. If they were to pay for such a room single-handedly, they would have to part with close to 6 million shillings. Only two of the tenants here are employed. The rest are still searching and spend most of their time on the internet, scouting for opportunities. Like you can go to an interview whereby you're more than 200 people, but they need, more, they need like less than five guys to work in that company. Regardless of their level of education, these job seekers will settle for anything available. Search for working jobs which are there tomorrow or any other day. So by the time you reach there, at least you know what job you, you're going for. You make several services, you make uh, a number of services where you're going. So I was looking for a sales executive, but I never got it. So I had to, to try my luck anywhere else to maybe to waiter or to, to cleaning. When we spoke more, I found out that Bania Square, where I first met them, is not just a hangout spot. Bania is like Uganda. Once you go there, you speak your language. Whoever comes there speaks in his or mother tongue. So Bania is a meeting union for Uganda, and especially. It's, it's also called Nasa Square. We go there at uh, Bania Square, and we share some ideas with some other guys or fellow friends of ours. And you find someone is having some idea of going like a charger for, for interview, working interview. For them, the search for employment has been full of frustration. Most of the jobs here are segregative. You, you search for a job and they tell you Indian only or Pakistan only. So you have to go to lower jobs which are... They just say, ah, you just put your CVs here, we shall call you. Their biggest challenge is that their visas will expire soon and yet they have to survive. Plan B, I'll go for lower, lower earning jobs, yeah, because I have to stay here. I can't go back home, I have to stay here. A number of others who shied away from our cameras told us that it is hard work finding a job in Dubai. However, Henry Semogedede, who has been working here for the last nine months, says life is smooth if you find something to do. So at first it was very hard because I have to move from places to places using metro, bus, spending a lot of money. But whenever I slow my CVs, sometimes you slow your CV somewhere, you go back like to check 
like check like let me come let me go back and see whether my cv they, are, they have taken it somewhere or to the next level you find that your cv have been dropped to the dusty bin a rather unpleasant picture has been painted about ugandans living in dubai on another day i met sam sewufu a sound engineer working here he is disturbed by the media's representation of ugandans in dubai ugandans in dubai portraying ugandans here as prostitutes portraying Ugandans here as people who are having no visas, they are simply suffering. This is not the actual image of Ugandans here. Ugandans are very respected here. While each day young people flock into Dubai and other countries to look for work, those already at it offer some advice. Hope is needed. If you don't have it, don't hesitate to come. Gertrude Tomosime with Kwari, NTV. Dubai.